What's up, Steelers Nation? This is the Steelers Guru here. And I'm sure everybody knows by now the battle that's going on for the starting middle linebacker position for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, there's no doubt in my mind who's winning that battle right now is a young man by the name of LJ Fort, who's in a stir year out of northern Iowa. He possesses the skills necessary to be a playmaker for us at the middle linebacker position. Now, what I did was put together some highlights for the preseason to show you just how explosive this young man is and the skills that type of skills that he possesses. As you can see right now, coming off the edge, he possesses a rip move, almost beats the tight end, uh, but he does get a little bit of pressure. Now, that's good for a middle linebacker to possess those type of skills. Look at him uh, read and react and get in the backfield on that play right here. He's explosive at 235 pounds. Look at him run with the tight end in the middle of the field so he can cover. We've seen him explode into the backfield, and we've seen him put on some pass rushing moves. Those are three skills that any middle linebacker would, would love to have, especially playing for a team steeped in defensive tradition like the Pittsburgh Steelers. LJ Ford is explosive. He's an explosive middle linebacker. Uh, he's really fast, and he just makes plays. You know, explosiveness is something we need out of our inside linebackers, especially with the loss of Ryan Shazier. There's no doubt in my mind that he can come in and he can make an impact if given the opportunity. We have John Bostic is not making that much money where he should be automatically given a starting middle linebacker job just because. LJ Ford, I th he can come in and he can do a better job than John Bostic if given the opportunity. Now, James Harrison came out. He said that Tomlin has his favorites. Well, I hope John Bossix is not one of his favorites. I hope he, he's looking at this with a with an equal eye. Because look at LJ Ford right here. Look at the explosiveness to get in the, the backfield. I mean, this guy possesses some explosiveness from it for a 235-pound linebacker. You know, he's always in the backfield. Look at how he closes right here. I mean, this is some serious closing speed for a middle linebacker. And this is some speed that we need on our defense look at him right here you get the jam I mean he's there it was a great throw by the quarterback but he was right there you know and look at LJ4 he's lined up about eight yards off closes makes the tackle I mean he's <laughs> there's not a linebacker we have a middle linebacker we have on our roster right now that can close like LJ Fort makes plays behind the line of scrimmage make plays in the passing game I mean, look at this right here. Reed, make the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. We need him starting on our defense. Give me him over all the other middle linebackers on a roster right now. With him and Vince Williams, they can make a lethal duo. You know, this is the film right here to prove it. You guys see his explosiveness, the way he closes on the ball. The way he can rush the passer, the way he can cover. I mean, look. <clears throat> he took the wrong hole right there and, and let up a big game. But, you know, he's still young. He's only in his third year. Still room to grow. His growth potential. Uh, look at this right here. Another tackle at the line of scrimmage. Or behind the line of scrimmage. Another tackle. So that's two tackles behind the line of scrimmage so far. One sack. So that's three tackles behind the line of scrimmage. You know, these are splash plays, as Tomo would say. Tackle for losses, sacks. We need this on our defense. He simply had the better preseason out of all the inside linebackers. Matikavich, um, Matthew Thomas, John Bostic. This guy right here, needs to start this is for the third preseason game against the Tennessee Titans once again LJ Fort shows you his explosiveness making more plays behind the line of scrimmage showing out more than any inside linebacker that we have you know I don't care if you make the tackles behind the line uh, you know, three yards past the line of scrimmage or four yards past the line of scrimmage. I want to see TFLs, tackles for losses, sacks, game-changing plays that will make our defense great. Because you know 
Pittsburgh Steelers defense. We all about great defense right here, baby. Number 54, check him out. He blitzed. Showed a physicalness that he took on the blocker. Number 54, another tackle behind the line of scrimmage. TFL, tackle for loss. No way, baby. This dude has to start, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, keep your eyes on 54, ladies and gentlemen. Take on the block, get off the block, make the tackle. Another tackle behind the line of scrimmage. How many times is he going to make tackles behind the line of scrimmage? Now look at this right here. Just takes the ball. Game changing plays that we need at our inside linebacker position. I don't understand why they didn't start this guy after uh, Shazir got hurt last year. We started the corpse that was Sean Spence. Put this guy in there, and we might have had a chance on defense, ladies and gentlemen. Look, this is the inner – that ball's coming out on the way down. But they call forward progress, whatever. This young man should have an intercession for a pick six. Okay, check out number 54 again. Shed the block of the tackle and then forces the quarterback to throw the ball. So more pressure, more plays behind the line of scrimmage from LJ4. How many times are we going to see this cat behind the line of scrimmage? Check out LJ4 right here, ladies and gentlemen. Beat the block of the running back. Caused the quarterback to run out of the pocket. Didn't complete the sack, but still made the quarterback run out of the pocket. Once again, 54 in the backfield. This is like a never-ending story, and I ain't talking about the movie that came out in 1986. I'm talking about the plays that this guy consistently makes behind the line of scrimmage. Start this guy over the just average John Bostic. I mean, come on now.